Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. In Mercer County, a young child survived a single car accident that claimed the lives of two adults. It happened around 11 Saturday night when the driver apparently lost control of their vehicle near the intersection of Macville and Old Lewis Roads and then collided with a tree. First responders were able to remove a child from the wreckage. The child was hospitalized with unknown injuries. In Laurel County, two people are behind bars after police found a two-year-old playing in the floor covered in dog feces. Police arrested the child's father, 30-year-old Joey Reidner, and the aunt, 35-year-old Tammy Hammonds, on child abuse charges. Police say the child's feet were caked with feces and no one could remember the last time the child had been bathed. Now, we all have hobbies, but every now and then we get an opportunity to use our leisure activities to do some good in the world. A group of students, faculty, and staff at Berea College recently took advantage of this opportunity. Led by the director of theater, Amy Shoup, the group found out about a need through the Animal Rescue Craft Guild, a Facebook page focused on connecting those in the crafting community with the needs of animals across the globe. Given the recent fires in Australia, the Animal Rescue Craft Guild distributed patterns that would guide projects to knit and crochet pouches for kangaroos and wallabies in need of warmth during this time. Student Allison Rickett also spoke to WBON. They met last weekend to knit, crochet, and help make the world a better place. You can watch the full video up now on WBONTV.com that profiles the special project. And criminals should be aware that there are cameras everywhere. A Lexington man is now in jail after he allegedly was captured by a doorbell camera ramming his ex-girlfriend's car with his own vehicle. Friday, police arrested 22-year-old Nicholas Wadman for that, as well as other incidents that occurred over the past few months. He is now looking at charges of criminal mischief, wanton endangerment, and harassment. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.